Hey guys, I'm LWJ Arcade and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. So, last episode we did a little bit of boo hunting and uh, we got a few other portrait ghosts and I missed stuff and I feel terrible about it, but I ended up showing the cutscene, hopefully. You know, the boo one. Yeah, anyways, welcome back. Today we got another portion of Area 2 to do. Um, oh, go mice, go mice! Go mice! Oh, I, I, oh. I could not live without that. Man, so, uh, there's about a 20 or 25% chance of those gold mice showing up, and basically, what you just saw is what they do. They drop a whole ton of cash money, YOLO swag, and you can just pick that up, and it goes towards your final rank, and I think we're doing pretty good so far, so there ain't nothing to worry about. Alright, so let's... Go into the second portion, or, you know, like, the ending portion of Area 2. Whew. Man, this is gonna be good. So, um... We wanna suck that up. Just get the fire, and, uh... This actually goes for the boss, who is Mother of God. Huge! Look! Oh, God. Okay, suck that up. But... Holy... <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty amazing how big he can be. But, we don't want him just disappearing on us when we flash our flashlight on him. So, we're going to want to do this. And now we can see him permanently. Now we want to suck up the tablecloth so it's not it doesn't get in our way. So, this guy basically has waiters. And he all he does is eat cakes for eternity. Like, I don't, I don't know what kind of cake that is. Like... Nasty cake, I'll tell you that. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to be sucked up. But anyways, he has his waiters. Whenever he has a little bit of his cake gone, he wants it all back. So, he gets those waiters to personally go and drop more cake on his plate. And what we have to do is basically stop him from doing so. Before I do anything... Speedy Spirit. Yeah. Oh man, let me get that emerald. There we go. So we're all set. We don't really need that cash all that much if we lost it, but you know, it's a good thing to just pick up. Also, those ghosts can't really hurt you other than just knocking you back, but. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, so we got our hands on this one. Now he has no waiters. Now he ain't gonna get his cake back, and he don't like it when you take his cake. He don't like it when he has no cake. He doesn't like it when you take his cake. He gonna be mad. So, um... Let's just suck away at his cake. Help him finish that there. I don't think he needs it that bad, personally. Oh, yeah. You can see right here, it's starting to shrink. And you can also tell I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> okay, now... Now he's mad. Look at that. Oh, my... Honestly, you could just take cover and stand behind here, but then you never know when to go and get him. You'll just see in a second, because eventually he gets tired of shooting these fireballs, and uh, he'll just, you know, start panting and be like, <gasps> you know, he, he needs cake. But, for now, let's just wait until this tub of, hey, 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 hey! This big tub of pink... I don't even know what ghosts are made of. Ghosts are made of nothing. They're, that's why they pass through walls and stuff. So, whoa. Now we got him cornered. Oh, no, we don't. We can do this. Oh, so close. Actually, we still have a chance for gold as long as we get him the second time around because... As long as you've got him under 10 health, uh, I, I believe that you'll get an automatic gold rank if you suck him up the second time around. So let's hope that is a true theory, because this guy's usually really hard to get to, and I honestly never thought we'd get a gold rank. Perfect! Woot! So now that we've got that, let's simply get the boo. Hmm, where could he be? Ah, Boodacious. Ah, what a what a nice name. 
There we go. So we got Boodacious now. Um, that's pretty good. He had 80 health, so I mean, that that's pretty good to not have him leave the room. Uh, also, let's open this chest and oh my God, diamond! There, I, oh, we are set for life, man. Okay, so let's just pick up all these coins, cash, money, yellow swag stuff, and head over to the kitchen. Okay. Now. Oh, more. I know this game, like, very well. Or well enough. I don't know. I, I, I sound like I'm bragging. I don't, I don't like bragging. Nope, never, never. Nah. -uh. <laughs> okay, so, you're probably wondering, what is the point of this room? Where are the ghosts? Well, uh, if I can get rid of these bots and pants, I will show you. <laughs> because these are starting to bother me, and I don't need them here. Okay. Let's suck away here, and woo, elemental ghosts. These guys need to take fire to get rid of. So you just do that, and there we go. Open this chest and whoosh am. We got the water element. Pro probably also be able to hear the boo because he's probably gonna move around the room, make a noise. So oh, this time it's the watermelon element metal. So basically. Oh, there's the boo. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know what the water element does, and you know what the fire element does, then I, I don't understand you, because <laughs> they're pretty much the same thing, except when you get near a water source, you are able to get that water, and then with that water, you can do other things, such as water plants, for instance. Uh, let's just get that here. Uh, I have a cold, so I apologize if I'm sniffling around and stuff. I really don't mean to. Alright, he's Booligan. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably one of my favorite names other than Game Boo and Game Boo Advance, which we haven't ran into yet, but I, I just feel like he's worth mentioning. Definitely an honorable mention, because he has an amazing name. Haha, <laughs> well done, Luigi. Okay, now time to send me that Boo. Be careful, Rigi. I will, Professor Egad. I will. Boom! Table trick. Tablecloth trick. N didn't drop a single thing. Okay. Now we can just be like, yo, I don't want your fire. I don't want your nasty fire right there. And uh, now you gotta wait for the steam to go. There we go. Now, we just refill up on our water, even though we don't really need the refill, as you can see from our meter below. Well, as you could have seen. So now let's just do this. There we go, that's the first portion of this plant, which will come in handy in the near future, as you will be able to see in later episodes. But right now, let's just go, we'll go ahead and do what we need to do and that is to uh just spray away everywhere actually i don't know how to do this but as you'll be able to see something will show up and oh there we go we gotta wake up the dog first that was the problem so now this guy will chase us and he is not friendly he actually reminds me of my dog or uh the dog you can see in the profile in, in my picture or if I still have that, I don't even know. Anyways, he kind of reminds me of my dog because he's a bulldog. Yeah. I like bulldogs. Okay. There we go, Mr. Bones. Make that yappy dog be quiet. Rawr. Yeah, so clearly he does not like this dog. Boom. How? Wait. How is that a ghost made of bone? I I don't even understand that. That's weird. That's just. Oh boy, oh boy, don't lose him. Oh yeah, there we go. Gold rank on the puppy. I forget his name. I I always knew his name. Then all of a sudden I just forget. I don't know. I don't know what's with the deal with me. 
I'm a terrible person, just so you know. Okay, so we got all those pearls. Uh, I want to refill my water just because I like to do that. I have like OCD if I see something there just floating. I have to suck it up. Like, who couldn't? So now let's just go see what the dog's name is. So, as you can see here, we have, uh, this is Neville, this is Lydia, this is Chancey, Chancey, this is like the couple, the dancing couple, yeah. They don't really have names, according to this game, but this is the butler, I, what was his name? Shivers, oh yes, um, Shivers, uh, this is Melody. Um, this is, oh god, I forget his name. Mr. Lugs, that was it. Um, this is, actually, Mr. Lugs, he ate himself. That is how he died. Yeah. Anyways, this is Spooky, Spooky, the dog, the guard dog, the hungry one. He's four years old. This creepy canine will sing. Wait, it's the same age as my dog, too. That's weird. Th this creepy canine will sink its chops into any seemingly edible thing in sight. Wow. So there's a rumor spreading. I don't know if I just came up with this when I was low or if it's actually true or something. I don't know where I heard it, but apparently... Um... That Spooky, or Spooky, was actually Mr. Lux's dog. Oh, here's a ruby right here. But, yeah, that's just like a rumor that's going around, I think. I have I have no idea. But they are awfully close together, so I, I wouldn't doubt it. Now you're probably wondering, what do we do? Well, first, um, I, I believe this is the thing. That, yeah, okay. We gotta press that gravestone or push it. And suck up these old guys, these old bones, Mr. Bones. I guess these were Mr. Bones' cousins, and they were probably not too happy about what I did to him, so. Just to apologize, I will kill them. Against their will. Everything's against their will, guys. That's how it works. Oh, come on. There we go, um, come on, it's just that one guy left that, that's being an awful lot of pain, he's causing an awful lot of pain to me, there we go, oh, I don't know, man, I'm sort of scared, actually, before we do anything, we should restock on our health, oops, so I'm going to do that, mm -hmm. if I can get this thing going. Oh darn, I have a feeling we're not going to get back. If I could take a proper picture, <laughs> that is. Uh, man, looks like we can Actually, oh, there. that's what I want to show off. There are hearts in here, I believe. At least I, I think it was this one. Now we should have 94. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Come on, there we go. And now, are you ready? I wonder what happens if Luigi takes a picture. I guess you just can't plan for this sort of thing. <laughs> Luigi, you always know what to do. Now go. Welcome to the spooky land. Yeah, um, this is scary. To the spooky, scary skeletons. I I shouldn't sing that song. That's not age appropriate. Okay, welcome to Bogmire, the Area Two boss battle. So. This guy's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, Jesus. We're not getting an A rank at all. <laughs> so, this guy's pretty easy to beat, uh, honestly. He has uh, basically these little uh, replicas of himself going around. And uh, you just want to get the big ones because those will easily trap 
Bogmire. Uh, lots of people have a hard time with this boss battle. Honestly, I don't. But according to the LP curse or the LPers curse, I probably will. You know what? I guess we'll have to use the small ones. Where he at? Swiggity swooty. Give me that. Oh man, that was terrible. Not gonna lie. Come on. There we go. Now we gotta go trapture him. You know. Oh, oh, oh. Here he is. Oh, he always sucks you right into the other guys. It's. Honestly, I never have pains with him. But you can see what's going on here. It's just. Bad luck. Yeah, I, I don't know. I must have done something bad because karma's hitting me hard. Let's do this, man. Where is he? Where you at? Here you are. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, Bogmire. You've never done this to me before. Oh, oh, you hat. <laughs> Actually, maybe it was meant to be that he made my HP go down to this. It's probably like, you know, man, you're cool and all. So I, I, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I'm gonna secretly change your health. So that's 69. Because, you know, all kids think 69's a silly number, now don't they? Even if they don't know what it means. Alright, anyways. Look at that key. Luigi's not interested. He doesn't want to talk about it. He's just like, yeah, um, I'd rather not. Woo! There we are. What's that? Oh, I think Professor Egad wants to talk. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when the lightning struck. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too good at that. So yeah, let's let's go back to the lab and empty our poltergeist three thousand and listen to some of the best music in Luigi's mansion. That personally I find is under like under um underappreciated. So let's put them through the old ghost portrificationizer. Lots of people don't even know what the machine's called, and it bothers me. Because it's important. Yes. So I don't understand why when you empty your Poltergeist 3000, I don't understand why the ghosts don't come out. I mean, isn't that kind of important for, like, all the regular ghosts to come out? Like, why wouldn't they show up? Maybe they're just, like, not that strong enough of spirits to show up or something like that or maybe Professor Egad has a setting to like memorize all the ghosts he missed out on did I actually was I actually lucky enough to get a silver rank that is great oh man I got a silver rank on the area too boss did I actually get gold on uh oh this is great I got gold on what's what's his name? Uh Mr. Lugs. Yes, this music. You're dead. You're dead. Luigi's dead. I don't know. That's just a version I saw on a YouTube comment. I I don't like it. Look at all this cash money yellow swag right here. Oh yes. That is what we need, guys. 26 mil. We are a quarter of the way to getting an A rank. And to be honest, that is actually great for uh, our standards. I'm gonna cry. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm LWG Arcade, and I will see you in the next episode where we will begin 
area number three. Yeah.